Welcome to this Control for iPad tutorial. In this session, we'll be looking at the basics of setting up a workspace. To begin, tap New Workspace, then enter a name. In this case, we'll enter Workspace and tap Confirm. We're presented with a blank workspace with a single interface. To start adding controls, tap the pencil button in the bottom left sidebar. We can now double tap the interface to add a new control. The location you tap will be used as the insertion point. We'll begin by giving our control a label to make it easy to identify. Next, we'll set up a control protocol output. In this case, we'll use OSC. Tap the cog button to open the patch window, then the plus button to create a new patch. Once all the details have been entered for this new patch, press close. We can now tap the plus button to create a new patch. Once added, enter the parameters of the protocol, in this case, slash command slash one, and select the patch. We can now tap save. With the control created, we can resize and reposition it as required. To open a control settings, double tap it, We'll tap the edit button, then select the theme tab. Select a different colour, then tap save. In addition to buttons, Control for iPad provides many control types, such as sliders, steppers, playback controls for linear interfaces, and modules for external products. With Control for iPad Pro, you also have the ability to customise your interfaces with advanced properties. And with the vast range of control methods, you can communicate with a variety of products. For more information, or to give feedback, visit labs.onlex.ltd. Thanks for watching.